Hoy. April has come and gone, which means that the Paper vs. Pixels challenge is now over. And today I wanted to tell you how I did. In case you missed the previous video, the Paper vs. Pixels challenge was a reading challenge with Lore Eve, the author of Fearsome Dreamer, and Hotkey Books. And the challenge was to kind of step out of your reading comfort zone and pick either ebooks or physical books, depending on what you're used to reading. And since I always read physical books and barely used my Kindle, I chose Pixels. I'm very happy to announce that I did did not cheat this month. It came very close once because I was going to a Cheryl Sandberg event and I was going to read Lean In. It was in my bag and everything. Um, but then I ended up not taking public transport and I walked. So I didn't have the opportunity to cheat. I have become quite good friends with my Kindle. I know a lot more about the settings now and about how to make the battery last as long as possible, which is still not that long, by the way. I read faster on my Kindle. Somehow it's really motivating. I downloaded the Kindle app to my iPhone. So in the morning on my commute, I would read on my phone. And even though it was only five minutes, when I got home in the evening, it would get me excited about reading the book. One problem with reading both on your phone and on this Kindle is that you then have to sync your Kindle. Syncing your phone is easy because the internet on that is always on. Here you have to find Wi-Fi, so if you're on the go, um, it's difficult to sync. But I would usually just remember what percentage I'm on. It's like reading a book without a bookmark. Also, this is quite good for reading in bed because you can hold it with one hand and like rest it on your pillow. There is a setting where you can turn the background to black and the letters to white, so it's not as bright. That did weird stuff to my eyes. I didn't really like that. So I just turned the brightness down. And this is what I read this month. I read The Fault in Our Stars by John Green because I was in the middle of rereading that. So I just purchased it on my Kindle. I read The Savages, which is by Matt Wyman and it is about a family of cannibals. I'll be doing a review of this one soon. And I read The Name of the Star by Maureen Johnson, which is the first in the Shades of London series about Jack the Ripper. Really enjoyed that. And I actually immediately purchased the second one. So I'm going to be reading that soon. And at the moment I am reading Rooftoppers by Catherine Rundell, who also won the Water Stones prize. So yeah, not too shabby. I really enjoyed doing this challenge and I think just having this challenge hanging over me, forcing me to read on my Kindle was really good because I've been holding off on it for a while. There are quite a lot of physical books waiting for me next to my bed that I really want to read but there will definitely be books that I'll be buying as ebooks because I feel like it just gave me this sense of freedom, knowing that I don't have to worry about the space on my shelves, because I'm definitely running out of space. For example, I'm reading Game of Thrones and I think I might just buy the ebooks. In the comments, you can let me know if you participated in the Paper vs. Pixel challenge and what you thought of it. And even if you did give up halfway through the month, I hope it was still an interesting experience. I will talk to you guys later. Doi!